I just bought this little timer board and I think it's really cool. I just wanted to show you the different things that it can do. I've got a project later on coming up that um, it'll be involved in and you'll see it again then. But just a quick overview of it. You've got, it's got a 10 amp relay in it, which you can use uh, normally open, normally closed over here. And then this is your power input right here. It also has a power input here, which is uh, a, a USB like a, a phone, old style phone charger that you could use right here. Uh, so it runs off of five volts here on uh, this terminals over here. It says it runs on 60 to 30 volts DC. I actually was running it on five volts and it worked just fine. This is a five volt input. So I figured it would and I gave it a try and it did. I haven't wired it up like this because if you bring in your five volts over here, you still need an additional voltage to run the trigger over here. So I just ran in, uh, I've got 12 volts coming in, positive and negative right here. And then I have also brought the negative over here to the trigger. This is your trigger positive and trigger negative. And so I got the negative from here and brought it over to use it right here. Now you can also, there's a little solder point right here that you can bridge these and it will you won't have to bring this wire over but i just brought a wire over and then i've got these two little wires and they are just a little trigger switch that we're going to use as our trigger all right so let's turn it on all right so we hit we're going to hold down the set button and we're going to i was playing with this earlier so it is set to p1-3 so we're gonna go down to one, one. That's the first program that you have an option for. When you first use these, it comes up P11. One, one. The way you program these is you hold down the set button and it's that OP. Now OP is how long the relay is gonna be activated. And this says five seconds. With the dot in this middle spot right here, you're programming tenths of a second. With it over here, you're programming one second. And when all three of them are lit up, you're programming minutes, okay? So we want seconds right there. So now to change our time, we can go up, and we can go down with the up and down button. So we're gonna leave it at five. And when we're done, we're gonna hold down the set button and it shows us the program. When it beeps, you let off the button and you're ready to go. When it goes to the zero, 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 you are ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our button and it's going to start timing. One, two, three, four, five, and our relay goes off. Now, some of them have different triggers. So this one, when you trigger it, if you come back and hit the trigger again, nothing happens. And then it just turned itself off. Okay, so that is P1.1. Let's try the next one. Now to get from P11 to 12, you just hit the up button. Now we're in P12 and we're going to hit the set button. And that's now this is again our relay activated time and it is set to five. Now the only difference between this one and the last one, let's hit the set button and hold that down. So now we're in P12 and we're programmed to five seconds. The difference with this one is when you hit the button and it starts counting, if you hit the button again, it starts over. All right. Okay, so now let's let's do another one. So now we're gonna hold this down and we're gonna do P3. This is the one I'm actually gonna use for my project. That's why it was up. All right, so we're gonna hit the set button and that gives us our OP time, which is the time that your relay is activated. It's five seconds. We could make that greater or lesser. We're going to hold down the set button and that holds it into memory. And now we're at zero, zero, zero. And the difference with this one is, is when you start it, if you come back and hit the trigger again, it turns it off. So like in my instance, I'm gonna to wanna to turn something on and say have it run for five minutes. But then when I, if I wanna come up and check it, then I would come up and I'll hit the button and that would stop it and allow me to look at it. And then I could go back and say, okay, well let's do another five minutes or five seconds or whatever it is we wanna do. Okay, so that is P1-3. Let's do the next one. 
is two. So what this one does is it has a delay start. P2 has a delay start. So when we go into programming, we've got our OP time. We're gonna leave that at five seconds. And then we hit it again. And now we have a CL time. That's our delay time. And that's set at three seconds. We could make that more or less, but we're gonna leave it at three, okay? All right, then we hold that down. And so now when we start it, it's now on, then it goes off. So when you start it, in this one we were in the other digits, so we were actually doing tenths of a second, sorry. But what it does is, when you start it, and then it goes to off. So when you start it, it has a delay, and then you'll see it come on. There it comes on. And it stays on for the amount of time you have it set, and then it goes off. All right, that is P2. Let's now go to P3. P3-1. This is gonna give us that same thing as we just had, but it's gonna cycle it. And we'll show, I'll show you how that works. Okay, so we hit set and we now have our OP. That's the amount of time our relay will be on is five. And then we have our CL time, which is our delay time, right? So we're gonna change that to where we're doing seconds. We don't want 30 seconds. So let's go down. To, we'll say two seconds all right and now we have LOP or loop and so this is how many times will it do that cycle all right so let's say if you leave it the dash 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 like this it will that's infinite all right so we're gonna up that to we want to do two cycles now we're gonna hold that down so you hit that the relay comes on And then it's off, and then it's on, and then it's off. And it did that twice, so that was our two cycles. You wanna watch it again? Okay, so there we're on for three seconds, and then we're off, or five seconds, then we're off for one, two, and we're back on, three, four, five, and we go off for one, two, and our cycle is over. And we can set that for five cycles or 10 cycles or 999 cycles. All right, and then there's just one more. This is P32. And the only difference in this and the previous one is, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down set. Well, here, you hold down set and you get, we're set for five seconds on And then a two second delay. Let's up that to four second delay. And then we want our loop to be, let's make that three. And now let's hold that down to set it. Okay, so now for this one, we're not gonna need to trigger it. All we need to do is we're gonna remove the power. And when you plug it in, when it gets power, it starts cycling. So it tells you the program, and here we go. It's on for one, three, four, five. Now it's off for one, two, three, four. And then it's on for one, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna do that three times. This is the last time it's gonna be on. And then it's off, that's the end of your cycles. And so, you know, if you had a piece of equipment or something that when it powers up, you need it to go through a process, then this would be the right one for you because you don't even have to trigger it, it could be remote. Anyway, I just thought this timer was really cool. I wanted to show you how it works. Um, there wasn't a lot of clear information on how to program it and all, so I wanted to get that out there. I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.